The data table to the right represents the volumes of a generic soda brand. Complete parts A and B below. Which plot represents a dot plot of the data? So a dot plot is just a graph with uh, lots of dots. <laughs> so for example, here you see there's one dot above the 55. So there's one soda that has a 55 uh, ounces. Here's, there's two dots above the 60. So there's two sodas that have uh, 60 ounces. So we can do the dot plot by hand, or we can use the software. Let me show you how to use the software. It's actually really simple. So you see this little box right here. If you left click on this little box and click open in StatCrunch, it'll open all the data for you in StatCrunch. It's super nice. So there it is, it types it in for us. So uh, there's no possibility of actually typing things in incorrectly. A dot plot is a graph. So you go to graph dot plot. So we do that again from scratch. So you click this little box, open in StatCrunch, and then you go to graph dot plot, okay? And then see where it says select columns? Well, the data is stored in the first column here, var1, variable one. So you left click on where it says var1. Then you just click compute, and there's the dot plot. So we have to pick the one that looks most like this one in the homework problem. So I think it's going to be either B. B looks very similar. Let's see, one dot, two dots, three dots, a bunch of dots, two dots, and one dot or it's going to be A, oh, sorry, C. I don't think it's C, though, because there's a bunch of dots at 80, and here there's a bunch of dots at 70. So I think it's going to be this one here. It looks pretty much identical to this one. So I'll go with B. Yes, all right. Are there any outliers? So outliers are numbers that are far from the majority of the other numbers. So it looks like 50 is really, really far from the rest of the numbers from the dot plot. So you can use dot plots to help you detect uh, outliers. If you just look at the data, it's not super clear uh, that 50 is far from the rest of the numbers. But by looking at the dot plot, you can even make it bigger. You can see how far away it is from the other numbers when drawn on the scale. So it's actually quite useful for that. So I would say, yes, the volume of 50 ounces appears to be an outlier because it is far away from the other volumes. So let's go with B. Good stuff. I hope that made sense.